right, guys, with that said, let's get started with Relationship Tuesday. Of course, a favorite for so many of you. And so I hope I'll be hearing from as many of you on our SMS line, double two triple nine. And you can also reach me on social media at Switch TV KE on Instagram and at Switch TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter. Now, we want to talk about what to know about dating when you're in your 30s. And my guest in studio is Angela Katua. Karibu sana to the show. Thank you, Joyce. Now, obviously, you know, uh, a lot of people would prefer to start dating a lot younger. Others start dating younger and then regret it. They're like, oh, man, I wasn't even mature. I wasn't ready. Um, but, you know, there's, there's still a lot to look forward to if you find yourself single and in your 30s. Mm -hmm. It's just that we've made it like if you hit 30 and you're not married, like all of a sudden, like your life is not, you know, that valuable. But that is so not true. Okay, mm -hmm. you can still live your life and live it well, That's even true. when you're single in your 30s. So we want to go through a couple tips, right, that we could share with our audience. And if you guys have any specific ones that you want to share with us as well, you can on double two triple nine. So the first tip, talk to us about knowing what you want, you know, because sometimes I feel like when we're in our 20s, like we almost just want everything. <laughs> we want him to be an athlete. Mara, we want him to be president. We want him to be good looking. We don't yeah. care what, you know, we just have, we're all over the place with it. Mm -hmm. But, um, <clears throat> You know, when we're in our 30s, I think a lot more people now have sort of narrowed down a bit more. Yeah. Would you say? How important is it to know exactly what you want or what you're looking for? Well, uh, for many people, dating starts at 20, uh, 20s, in that uh, maybe mid 20s, the right kind of dating. But uh, most, most of the people that we are having nowadays are even now getting serious into dating when they are in their 30s. Mm -hmm. And um, the reason is why, is because uh, maybe I think people have probably uh, discovered that when you're younger, you're not able to make the right decisions. And now all that uh, comes, uh, brings me to your question. What are the things that they need to look at, to look into? Mm -hmm. And I believe that uh, you need to first look into yourself know who you are before you can even look for a soulmate. Mm. And uh, th it's very unfortunate. Many people look for other souls wh before they even find their own, which is an unfortunate situation for most of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, you know, our parents' <coughs> generation would talk a lot about courting, right? Um, and nowadays, I think maybe they're either used interchangeably or maybe they shouldn't be. But when we talk about dating, what exactly does that mean? Because that, that word carries a lot of weight. When we are in our 30s, dating is not just for fun alone. It should have a goal. And most of this, the times, you know, at 30s when you want to settle down, mm -hmm. you're looking at the future. Mm -hmm. You're not just looking at the fun. Right. So uh, it's important to... Just be aware that <laughs> I... Like we're, we're trying to, we're trying yeah. to figure out if this thing's going to work. <laughs> uh -huh. it's, it's not just about the, the fun. It's not about just being there or having someone in your life. Yeah. This someone ha needs to have a significance in your life. Mm -hmm. So you need to be sure whether this person is the right one. And now you're mature enough to even uh, identify uh, the, the person mm -hmm. and identify them clearly because now you're a bit mature. Yeah. mature and you understand uh, what dating is all about okay so yeah. dating here we're talking about dating with the goal you know yes. towards a long-term relationship mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right okay so second tip is about <coughs> letting go of the past now um for most in most cases people who are 30 right now and maybe are single perhaps have been through a previous relationship yeah. and have had to deal with some form of heartbreak mm -hmm. um from the past but it could be cheating. It could even be death um, that caused that relationship to end. Yeah. You know, how do we learn to let things go and embrace things anew? Because some of those guys, I know people who've been in very long relationships when they're in their 20s mm -hmm. and they're really struggling in their 30s now to move on because they keep r reminiscing on, mm -hmm. on what they had for five years, six years, seven years with someone. Yeah. Um, but then in a sense, it's also holding them back. Well, when I was coming on my way, someone, a lady reached out to me and she told me that uh, she's been dating, she, she, she had a relationship 12, 12 years ago and up to now she has never moved on 
because mm. of the heartache. Mm. And now that is what you're talking about. People don't want, don't let go very fast about mm -hmm. the past. Mm. But we need to learn that we are not living in the past. Mm. We're living for now, as in we're living now mm -hmm. for the future. Right. So you have to have a, a, a at least a vision of where you're going. Mm -hmm. And when you have a vision, then you will make your today. So don't look back don't live in the past because mm -hmm. the past is not where you belong mm -hmm. after all you're not that 12 uh, i mean a 25 years old girl anymore right so you need to know that time is moving and you're aging and you need to look in the future okay and related to that then is also about letting your guard down so mm -hmm. maybe someone is is open to being in a relationship but they're very guarded and you know you can't do a successful relationship when you're not giving of yourself when you're not open yeah um and so for those who have been really really hurt in the past and have mm -hmm. had you know unsuccessful relationships there's this kind of defense you know what i mean yeah, yeah. um how does one sort of begin to overcome that you have to learn to be vulnerable Mm. because life is a risk. Even waking up in the morning, put your first foot down, is a risk. You don't know whether <laughs> it's going to break or not. Mm -hmm. Getting into a matatu or into your car to drive wherever you're going mm. is a risk. You don't know whether the other driver will come and hit you or whatever right. happens. So because life is a risk and everything we do is a risk, you have to just be vulnerable. And that's part of what makes love so beautiful, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah this person like you you never know what but it's a choice that's why it's a choice it's not just a feeling <laughs> and they say that the bigger the risks the bigger the, the bigger the benefit i mm -hmm. don't know how true that is when <laughs> it comes to relationships mm -hmm. but uh, i think it has some weight right. when you talk about being vulnerable yeah you have being to accept vulnerable, not at risk people. for date data weird person yeah, no, no. <laughs> a crazy person <laughs> with like no values or whatnot not that way yeah but as far as being vulnerable yeah you know you give to receive in a relationship absolutely and, yeah and even when you're that and above mm -hmm. you're a better judge of character so that's true even with that be vulnerability <laughs> you know that you can judge the character that you want yeah yeah okay so we're gonna take a short break right now but I'm gonna be back with Angela Katua in just a few moments and when we come back uh, some of the other things I want us to touch on are communication how important is this word communication we hear it a lot in relationships right but also what are some of the deal breakers for you guys so there are things that maybe when you're in your 20s you'd have tolerated but now that you're in your 30s um there are just certain things that you're just like maze i don't have time for those games ama <laughs> you're on the other side you're like i'll just take whatever <laughs> when you're in your 20s is when you are you know much more guarded but now is it the opposite for you i'd love to hear from you double two triple nine is the sms line and you can also reach me on our facebook page at switch tv kenya we'll be back after this break All right, everybody, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. Thank you again for your company. And uh, we're talking about dating in your 30s, this Relationship Tuesday. Let me read some feedback here. Irene Kendi says, at 30, someone should be serious when dating. It should lead to a serious relationship or even marriage. But it also depends with the person if you're mature enough to make the right decision and know that you're not getting any younger. Munene Wilson says, dating at 30s is the best thing Thing ever because maturity is guaranteed he says <laughs> um do you agree with that you know because i i feel like I, I think to a certain degree he's he's right that he's hopefully right. by that point yeah you know you've achanad with the games like mm -hmm. nobody has time for it hopefully you're not wasting your time for it but um you know are there still people who by the time they hit 30 you find like it's like they still haven't figured out even what they want in a relationship some people never grow up <laughs> even some at 40 they're still there you know they're not even sure what they want mm -hmm. and one one way to know uh, whether this person is a serious person in dating mm. is whether they know what they want and those are basic questions that you need to ask what 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 do you where do you see your life in in maybe a few years to come right. if they don't open up and talk about it it's good to voice it out and ask mm -hmm. those questions yeah mm -hmm. so you don't just uh, assume because that someone is 30 
then they're mature. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, as we talk then about um, some of the other tips about dating in your 30s, as I try and load up some of your SMSs, um, let's talk about communication. Mm -hmm. This word is so big when it comes to relationships. Uh, we keep saying communication is key. You know, when you're dating in your 30s, when you're trying to enter a relationship in your 30s, what are some of the things you should be talking about? Um, and specifically, you know, there are some things you should be checking, right? Because yeah. mm -hmm. this person probably has been through a relationship before. You know, what are some of the questions you should make sure you have answers to? Just like, you don't want those surprises <laughs> when you're, you know, two months into your marriage. You're like, mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you've mentioned kids, and mm -hmm. kids are it's a, a big one, a big part of a family. <clears throat> so I think it's very important to know whether this person really wants kids or not, mm -hmm. or and if they have kids already. Uh, those who don't have kids. Mm -hmm. Now, for those who have kids, you need to know whether your partner can accept your kids and take them there like they are his or hers. Mm. So it's very, very important to communicate about you know, such a such a point. Another thing that you should communicate about, I think, is religion. Uh, religion. What religion are you into? Mm. Because uh, it's a, it's it could be a big thing when it comes to raising a family. You you have children, and I want them to go to say maybe Muslim and. Mm -hmm. uh, you want them to be Christian mm -hmm. or you want them to go to Catholic and yeah so it's also a, a deal breaker I right think, or a, a good thing to communicate about right right yeah. but there are deal deal breakers for mm -hmm. sure yeah. and I uh, will be touching on a few of those but just to point to some of you guys SMS's mm -hmm. um, hey Joyce I'm Eugene from Eldoret uh, thank you for the compliments and you say you're loving the topic on dating today it's amazing Asante uh, someone else here says how do you know that that a man loves you for true like for real and I, I can understand where this is coming from because you know by the time you're 30 there's a lot of pressure um, you've been hurt before you're not mm -hmm. trying to you know end up in the same pain but you also really want to move on with that part of your life yeah. how how does one figure that out when they're 30 just so that they don't find themselves being wounded or maybe even worse just settling for anything, mm -hmm. you know, and settling for less. Mm -hmm. I think uh, for women, uh, you know, we, us women, we love vibe. You know, the, the love vibe. We like hearing those nice stories. But they, they say that talk is cheap. Mm -hmm. So it's good to know that um, you can differentiate between talk and action. Mm -hmm. So you, the action of this guy should tell you whether he really loves you. Whether is he violent? Does he have even aspects of violence? Mm -hmm. Is he is he maybe um, maybe hardworking in and be able to even provide for a family? Mm -hmm. Yeah, is he someone who is communicating openly and truthfully? Is he cheating? Mm -hmm. You know, those are things that you would would tell you that this person really holds you dear. Are they introducing you to their close friends or family members? Right. Yeah. Such, okay. Such things, yeah. And um, I, I think certainly related to that is just understanding even how they perceive your role or the role of a wife or a spouse, a husband yes. in their lives. Those yes. are the conversations that people often forget to have. Mm -hmm. And then you enter the marriage and you're like, Uyu jamana ni tharao, ama uyu mama, <laughs> like hani yeah. right? But it's because you didn't have those conversations when you were supposed to be having those yeah. conversations. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> dating it's not just for you to feel all giddy inside and mm -hmm. <laughs> you know just feel all warm like you're saying the talk is cheap and the thing with women our instincts are very strong sometimes when it comes but to relationships. But you tend to assume them. But just because jamaa mekuletea maua na kuangelea, he's angeleshing you like, yeah. I don't know, boys to men. Like, oh, kichago meruka, hata uski chochote. Yes, yes, eh? that's true. Instincts. That's... Those things are very important. It's very important. Always pay attention to your sixth sense. Yeah. yeah. It's not <laughs> very, there for, for nothing. Najwa na akiwa na cheka, because they know the truth. They mm -hmm. know. They mm -hmm. know the truth. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> someone else here is saying, Hello Joyce, loving the show. I'm watching from Gidurai. Ask the guest, what are the goals as a lady when dating? My boyfriend asked me my relationship goals. I just said it's to sire babies. <laughs> Please help, I'm 22. <laughs> oh my dear. <laughs> um, interesting. <laughs> goals could be diverse because there's marriage, 
there's uh, you could be dating just to remain single and have children so it's very important to to know what is it that you really want and we talked about knowing what you want in a relationship so uh, the goal that you want it, it can just not be narrowed down to having babies mm. is it having fun you know some people even want to have fun when until they're old like yeah. for me i would really want to have a partner who we will we will have fun mm -hmm. until we are old mm -hmm. so and that is a goal for me mm. um probably another one would uh, maybe to invest together to have a partnership that uh, we can even uh, look up to each other someone who can even uh, guide you because i like learning and i want to someone i want someone who can teach me the things that he knows better than i do so those are some of the the goals that uh, you should voice out when when someone wants to know really what you want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they have to be personal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they absolutely yeah, I I I'd agree. I don't think anyone can define that for you. And mm -hmm. that's part of that maturity yeah. too. So, you know, maybe if you don't know why you're in the relationship, maybe you shouldn't be in it. I don't know. Just a, just she a suggestion. Said, yeah, she said she's 22. So, yeah. it it tells you that at, at 22 and at 32, there's a bigger a big difference. Very big difference, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um so Let's talk about then realistic and unrealistic deal breakers, right? So again, at at in your thirties, there's a lot of social pressure. No, no, at work on my Instagram, when I could post, yeah, my picture, I'm in the Uhuru Park, Kwako to buy skellies at the lake, you know. And you're starting to feel, eh, maze pressure, right? So, what are some of the unrealistic deal breakers that you find, and they could even include things like time. So. If you've been dating with someone, you know, for five years, six years, seven mm -hmm. years, should you be concerned at that point? Like, Ay, where is this relationship going? How comes it's not progressing? Nikau Mekalia standard one for five years. Yeah. You know, at what point should you be concerned? There should be growth in any relationship. Just like as people, we are growing. There must be growth in any relationship. You can't say that you you're in a relationship for for five years and it's still stuck in the same place, mm -hmm. even for six months. By six months, you guys should be knowing whether are yeah. we in here for marriage or are we in here for because at thirty you you don't have so much time to waste. Sure. Soon you'll be forty and you'll not have so much so many choices in your hands. Mm -hmm. Even for men, it's mm -hmm. not just women alone, because yeah. even for a man, you don't want to date a girl who is quite too young for mm -hmm. you someone you cannot even reason together mm -hmm. so i believe time is very important and what about money like when does uh, our conversation when do our conversations around money and mm -hmm. how much you know one should have or be able to provide become unrealistic because i also believe it's important for it's not just about what someone has today but mm -hmm. also appreciating their potential <laughs> but i'm trying to say that a lot of the times, sometimes we're just like, he has to be like this and he has to be driving that mm -hmm. and he needs to be living in this part of town. Are those unrealistic expectations? Shouldn't it count more, you know, his work ethic yeah. or his, his mentality about mm -hmm. how he views hard work? Shouldn't that count for more? I think that should count more because you can meet someone who is driving a a V8 or whatever. Nani car, Deni. And, yeah, Nani Deni. I'm a Illuminati. We Oi. have so many things. Hey, Angela, I'm going to tell you what. Mwapeleka where you're supposed to be because we can't we cannot just close our, our eyes to things that that are really happening. <coughs> mm -hmm. So and they are real, they are mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. The devil is there and is real. Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> those are things that are existing, and sometimes we look at the glamour of what is happening out there instead of looking at the person. What yeah. are his values? Yeah. Well, how how uh, how does he view hard work? Like you say. How does he view himself maybe probably in the next five years? What are his goals in life? Right. Those are the things we need to, to look at. Money is good, yes. And it is very important, yes. But are you building it in the right way? Mm -hmm. Has it taken stages to build? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know, even at 30, it, it would even raise eyebrows for someone to to be owning so many properties and you should question these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Another question here on SMS. Hey Joyce, I'm Esther. My boyfriend is 30 years old and had Jawai date anyone else before? When I asked him the reason, Ali Nyambia, he was busy with school, then later got a job. Then he realized that time has moved on. Then we met and started dating. So um, 
again, I guess her point here is you never really know the reasons as to why someone is, is single to the mm -hmm. point that they are in today, yeah, yeah. right? Um, and I guess that a certain grace should be applied. And uh, as much as we need to leave, leave our past to our lives, our past lives behind, mm. we also need to leave our, our partner's lives, past lives behind. Mm. We shouldn't be digging so much into it. Mm -hmm. And many times people feel coerced to give answers and they end up even giving the wrong answers or what you want to hear. Mm. So it's good to let people to speak out about their past when they are ready. Right. Because that is the time they will be open and, and truthful. Sure. Yeah. On Facebook, Evans Kurui says, At 30s, the relationship is serious and matured compared to that of 20s. The problem is that when a breakup comes through, it makes one never heal or, uh, or to search for a soulmate. So I guess, you know, obviously a breakup at that age is a lot harder. Mm -hmm. Becky Stevens says, At 30, some people feel desperate without knowing that God's time is always the best. I'll advise those at 30s who are not in a serious relationship to trust God and to know that delay is not denial and that's mm -hmm. a great point uh, Becky Stevens from Lolongo and that's something I tell a lot of people you know yeah. what it's better to wait and do it right mm -hmm. than to rush and then you find yourself in all sorts of issues but mm -hmm. I know that's also easier said than done mm -hmm. and so as we close you know what sort of advice or encouragement would you give to those who are in their 30s right now not in a relationship really wanting to be one and then there's all this pressure from family friends social media you know as we close what would you tell that person as far as you know what to do it's good to own what you want to have Mm. And first of all, be who you want to get, you know, like attracts like. So if you want, you have your qualities of a man or a woman that you're looking for, I ask yourself, am I those qualities myself? Right. You need to know whether, because you have to be compatible. Mm -hmm. So are you that person yourself? Mm -hmm. And pressure from outside shouldn't really mean so much because at the end of the day, it is you. Right. who is going to be in that relationship. Yeah. And if you use pressure to make a decision, then you may end up making the wrong one. Absolutely. It's very important for the decision to come from you, mm -hmm. from your inner own evaluations. Absolutely. Yeah, so don't just rush into things because people are doing them yeah. or because your parents want you, want grandkids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And remember to enjoy the season that you're in. Right? Yes. So enjoy your singlehood because that's going to change when you get married. Be happy like, before you meet life someone. Life changes, my friend, let me yeah. tell you. So enjoy the season that you're in. Yeah. Build yourself. All you people who are out there saying you need someone to complete you, no. Mm -hmm. Be a complete person yourself and so that even the sort of calories of a person that would walk into your life can match up to who you've become yeah. so stop putting your life on hold because you're waiting on this guy or this woman to come around into your life you can be anything you want to be and you'd be shocked at how attractive that is when you see someone who is strong and confident in who mm -hmm. they are yeah. and are willing to push forward so enjoy your singleness while you have it mm -hmm. <laughs> um, your time will come so, yeah you know ne no one can ever make you happy absolutely Absolutely. You have to make yourself happy. And you, you'll even have a better relationship when you're happy first exactly. before you meet that person. Exactly. So dig into your where you get your own happiness. What makes you happy? What makes you tick? Yeah. You know, what values makes make you even move forward? Yeah. Yeah. So embrace yourself and figure out who you are first before you get to All know right. who your next person Thank is. you, Angela, for coming through to Full Circle with Joyce and yeah. um, for this conversation. Hopefully a number of you are encouraged this morning. Cheers to you if you're in your 30s and you're single. Let me know, Double two triple nine is the SMS line. Uh, enjoy the season that you're in. With that said, we're going to take a break now as we get ready for our third and final segment for the day. And uh, today we're going to be discussing Heaven on Earth marriages of course we hear a lot of things about marriage is it possible to have a heaven on earth marriage today that's what we're going to be talking about with my next guest stay tuned this is full circle with joyce